Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isidus Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. Today, we're in Japan and we're doing a camera vlog test on the Samsung S24. In this video, we're not only going to be looking at how the cameras perform, we're also going to be looking at our experiences with the phone the whole trip. Let's go. I actually meant the S24 Plus. As you can see, this is the bigger of the two S24 series devices that was launched. And it's pretty exciting because this phone, I feel like, has the most improvements out of all the S24 series devices that were launched together, which includes even the S24 Ultra. Been using the S24 Plus for a few weeks, like months? Has it been a month? I think it's been like a month or more. And I'm proud to say that it's still doing well because I've been using it sans case. The armor aluminum edges doing their job. I love how this thing is nice and matte. There are no scratches on that quad HD display. And yes, those are my notes. All in all, I still feel like this size is a little too big for my hands. I would still rather the S24 size. But I will say that despite this phone being a little too big for me, it feels very balanced. There's no bulky camera module on this. But more specifically, I would like more color options for this phone because especially if I'm rocking it sans case, it would have been cute to have a pink one. The S24 Plus features a triple camera setup that is a 50 megapixel main shooter with OIS. You have a 12 megapixel wide and that's a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with three times optical zoom. 4K 30 FPS. Walking and talking, this thing has OIS. So this is what that looks like. There is also a super steady mode on top of that. And this is what that looks like. 4K front facing camera. We're trying to find the trains. We're in Osaka and we're trying to get to Kobe. Love 4K front facing camera video. We multitasking. S24 Plus has 4,900 milliamp hour battery capacity. That's an improvement from the 4,700 of the previous generation phone. They also say that it's 5% more battery efficient. I also said this in my first video on these phones, so check that out if you haven't already. But anyway, I did leave at 11 and it was 90%. It is 12.45 now and we're at 75%. Most of the use cases were <laughs> <laughs> Surprise camera. So this is a wide 1x, 3x. Ooh, look at that three times zoom on this. And this is under 4K. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is 12 times zoom, and that's as far as this phone will zoom in 4K. Back to 1x. <laughs> that doesn't look like a steak. <laughs> look who's 
was enjoying the Z Flip 5 because of how you can shoot with a clamshell form factor. That's a 12 megapixel selfie camera. Yeah, there was a wide and a 1x. There is a wide and a 1x on selfie, but the difference is like very small. <laughs> I think they're lost. Okay, this is three times zoom. <laughs> Let's see how stable this footage is because I'm also walking and talking. Okay, that was actually quite impressive. Again, that was three times zoom. I was walking and shooting and the video, it looks, it looks very stable. It's 3.47 p.m. and we're at 42%. Now, I've been using this for data. I've been using it for photos and even navigating. I'm also absolutely loving the 3x optical zoom on this. With how good the zooms are on camera phones these days, I am starting to take photos on 3x zoom or 2x zoom by default. It just gives that really nice bokeh in the background. It gives a different angle. But I will say that when I started testing out this device, I came from the S24 Ultra. And because that phone had a better zoom at first, I felt like this didn't have a good enough zoom because I got so spoiled by the amazing zooms on that flagship per phone. So now that I think about it, this has a very capable zoom. I just, again, got spoiled. p.m. and we are at 20% so this is what the usage looks like and another thing about the S24 Plus like the S24 Ultra this thing has AI this thing also has a piece of rice on it pretty useful especially when you're traveling because for example I have this Japanese menu and I can just tap this on the side and as you can see you have different options you can scan translate even add to notes or copy all and that's all in Japanese so there's no way I'll be able to copy all by myself I mean this comes in as pretty useful and I know some would argue that it's basically Google Translate but the fact that you can access it from your camera that just saves so much time and honestly when you're traveling Ain't nobody got time to open up, pull up Google Translate and then take a photo. You know what I mean? The whole the whole thing. So really useful. Battery check, I now have 5% on this phone. And it's time for low light samples, but obviously at 5%, I wasn't able to shoot because I didn't want my phone to die and get lost. Great news though, I already got low light shots with the Glicoman. Actually, when these shots were taken, I specifically reached for this phone because of good low light performance. 
Of course, when shooting in crazy touristy areas like this, AI editing comes in clutch. And finally, at the launch of the S24 series, Samsung did claim that these phones were now social media optimized as they do year after year. Anyway, if you want to have an idea as to how these phones perform on social media, I do have a social media test of the S24 Ultra. Link it up here and down below. Right, so final thoughts. First off, I would say the Samsung S24 Plus is a Goldilocks phone. I was using this for a few weeks prior to my Osaka trip, and I would say that everything just went smooth sailing, everything just worked. I got flagship capabilities. Like, you don't miss anything, not any feature when you're using this phone, except for probably when you get to test out S24 Ultra cameras, and then there's no going back from there. But I'm pretty sure that's a phone reviewer problem. Jokes aside, I'd say that this is a very very good phone. I'd say that of the S24 series line, you get the most value in terms of upgrades with this device. These also have very good cameras and specifically low light shooting on this is just Bottom line, I think that if you want the most Samsung flagship features, but at a tinier size and price point, I said tinier, not tiniest, this is a phone to check out. That's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Comment down below if you agree with my thoughts on the S24 Plus. I have another vlog test coming up soon, and this time around, it'll be on the S24 Ultra. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.